Hey YouTube, I'm Blaze, and this is the sixth episode of Mythbusters, where we're going to be going over the reinforcements DPS. So this is going to be obviously all the reinforcements in the game, including infiltrators, rocket troopers, and of course the enforcers. For the enforcers, I'm also going to be testing their overload abilities as well to see just how like ridiculous we can get in terms of DPS. The way it's going to work is I'm going to time how long each one takes to kill either Luke or Kylo, so that's 750 health points worth of hero. And then I'm going to whack those numbers into an Excel spreadsheet to come up with their DPS. I have already done videos for the DPS for regular troopers and heroes, so make sure to check those out too. Jumping straight into it with the number 16th place, we have the Flame Trooper, who took 5.04 seconds to kill Luke with a DPS of 148. Now this is very low, however it's kind of expected as the Flame Trooper's main strengths remain in having a high health pool and being able to just basically get all the damage without particularly aiming as the fire has a large cone of effect. And also in between bursts of flame you can roll, which means that the enemies continue to take the same amount of damage but you're very hard to hit. So really it's not representative of how good the Flame Trooper is, it's just this test. Then at number 15 it's the Flame Trooper again, but with the overload ability taking 3.04 seconds to kill Luke. So this takes 2 seconds off the original time with his main weapon, which is a massive leap, and 246 damage per second. So definitely a big improvement on the overload ability, however I'm not sure if it's actually worth using it in a game, because it does restrict your movement. And now at the 14th place we have the Wookiee Warrior. Now this is actually a big surprise because the Wookiees are renowned for dealing very high DPS, but I think that's mainly their overload ability and they have been nerfed quite a bit. And obviously there's huge downtime in between shots. And also the Wookiees do get Kylo down to a very slim amount of health. So it's basically two shots, but obviously I'm going to keep consistent in this test and I'm not just going to shave off a bunch of their time. So they did come in at 2.2 seconds with 340 damage per second, which is still quite a lot. Then at the 13th place, we have the Commando Droid who took 2.1 seconds with 357 damage per second. Now these guys obviously do deal quite a lot of damage still, but it's not so high on the list, particularly as that's not really their main strength. Their main strength is really movement and obviously their dashes combined with their Vibro Sword ability as well as their Thermal Vision is deadly. Then at the 12th place, we have the First Order Rocket Trooper. Now I was never a particular fan of these guys because I think their blast is not very good, particularly on the range side of things, but it turns out with two seconds and 375 damage per second, their blaster is really not bad at all. However, it is a lot worse than obviously the rest of the Rocket Troopers, which are actually very quick. And so we're going to move on to those guys with both the B2 droids, the B2 Super Battle Droid and the B2 RP Droid breaking the 2 second mark with 1.9 seconds with their Wrist Blaster and a 394 damage per second. Very impressive. These blasters are of course strong, but then of course we have places to go as I've explained before. And now on to the ninth place with the very surprising entry of the Imperial Rocket Trooper who took 1.84 seconds to kill Luke and 407 damage per second, which is impressive. Of course this blaster comes at the disadvantage of having very low damage across range. However, at close range, you know, headshot damage is actually pretty good. And then at the 8th place, we have the Resistance Rocket Trooper with their EL-16. Now, this is, of course, a very strong weapon, particularly as it carries this damage across range, so there's not much surprise that it comes in with 1.69 seconds to kill Kylo and 443 damage per second. Once again, I'm going to say this a lot, this is really impressive numbers. And then at the 6th place we have the Wookiee Warrior with the Overload ability. Now once again I expect this to be higher, but then again they did get scammed, taking 2 shots with Kylo going down to a very small amount of health, which required the extra downtime in between its shots to shoot him again and finally kill him. But still a very impressive show with 1.5 seconds to kill Kylo and 500 damage per second, which, yeah I know I'm going to say this a lot, it's a lot of damage. Then at the number 5 spot we have the Rebel Rocket Trooper with 1.48 seconds and 506 damage per second. It's a lot of damage. And this is actually quite similar to the results we got for the regular troopers, because with the results we got for the regular troopers, the A280 also ranked higher than the EL-16. Just like here, the resistance rocket trooper is far below the rebel rocket trooper. And then at the number four spot with the best regular blaster for the enforcers, it's the death trooper with 1.44 seconds to kill Luke and 520 damage per second. Now I knew these guys were good. I didn't know they were this good, but it's always good to be pleasantly surprised. And I'm certainly going to be playing these guys a lot more now that I know the sheer damage they can dish out. 
And now at the number three spot, we have the Death Trooper again, but this time with the overload ability with 1.18 seconds and 635 damage per second. Now, whilst obviously you might think, oh, it's not much time off, there's no point particularly using this as it does restrict your movement. Remember that this overload ability also increases the range because of the spread of the Death Trooper's regular weapon. So this does actually make it a very powerful ability. And moving on to the number two spot, we have the B2 Battle Droid as the best overload ability of all the Enforcers with 1.12 seconds to kill Luke and 669 damage per second. It's a lot of damage, I'll say it again. And these guys are obviously really good and it feels so meaty to turn on that overload ability and fire away. You feel like a boss and it does damage like a boss. And then at the number one spot, breaking the one second mark, and better than all the heroes, we have the Arc Trooper. Now, at 0.88 seconds and 852 damage per second, it's very clear that these guys need a nerf. And I've said it before, these guys need a nerf. Their damage is just far too good. Anyway, that's going to bring that video to an end. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. Tell me what video you want me to do next. And also leave any feedback you have about how I could do these videos better. Bye.